<sighs> there was a quote that has been in my mind today by Carl Jung. He said, The most terrifying thing is to accept oneself completely. And it couldn't be truer. To accept oneself completely. Including the shame, including the unworthiness, the guilt, the dissatisfaction. It's the hardest thing. It's the hardest thing in the world. Because nobody ever teaches us. Nobody ever teaches us that in order to change ourselves, we have to accept the part of ourselves that we dislike. You know? Over and over again in my life, I've had to look at parts of myself that were shameful or that I was shaming myself and I felt shame in taking action shame in doing something new because somewhere along the line I felt that as a kid for some odd reason you know I, I, and I, don't, I don't think it's an odd reason I think everybody goes through moments of shame and, and trauma as a kid but we don't re- we don't realize and recognize that That shame, if we don't process it, continues. And it could be something as simple as a kid laughing at you in class. A kid laughing at you in class because you knew the right answer. You know, just saying, hey, look at this guy. He's he's, he's smart. He thinks he's smart. You know? Or getting the wrong answer. We're just standing out. We're, we're, we've been told to conform in every way, in, in, a, in a million silent ways. And it's not until we try to step outside of that as adults that we realize, I, I, I want to, I want to record myself. I want to share my thoughts with the world but a part of me just is telling me that I, 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 I'll I die I'll die if I do <laughs> that's how my body feels that's how my body has felt and you might be saying well you're recording this right now you, you've overcome it you've, you're better than us no I'm not even right now even before I was recording this I felt it. I felt that shame. And it took me a lot. It took, it takes a lot, but I knew that I had to feel it. I had to look at it and feel it for what it is in order to be this vulnerable, in order to get to a place in my life where I'm not overcome by the the shame and the fear of other people's opinions and most importantly my opinion of myself and really other people's opinions they live in in our heads (laughs) you know sure other people can have opinions but the ones that impact us the most are the ones that we accept about ourselves and it takes realizing it It takes understanding that that's not who I am I'm not just my shame 
I'm not just my unworthiness. That I actually have everything it takes to do exactly what I want. But in order to get there, I have to fully accept that darkness. And really, that's what it is. When when Jung says the most terrifying part in life is to accept oneself completely. It's the darkness. He likes to call it the shadow. And it is a shadow in the sense that we are not always aware of it. That it is lurking beneath our consciousness. And we don't know it. We don't know it until it triggers us. <laughs> until our friends make fun of a subject that we feel quite close to. And you feel uneasy, you feel this tenseness. And it could be other things too. I mean, an infinite amount of things can trigger us. But you feel this tension. And you're like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This, this, this happened years ago. Why is, it, why is it still there? Why am I feeling this, this uneasiness, this I'm short of breath? You know? It could be, you know, walking and talking to a stranger. And you're like, wait, wait this is just a fellow human being. Why, why am I, why am I making this a life or death situation to go up and talk to them? And you realize it's, when you think about it, when you analyze it and logically think it, you'll never, you'll never see the truth. And, and the truth is that it's a feeling that wants to be felt. And the more we push it away, the stronger it gets. And really, that's all what all of our feelings want. They just want to be felt. <sighs> but some some feelings are harder to feel than others. And shame is one of them. God damn, is it hard? <laughs> it's hard because it tries to hide in, in so many ways in the crevices of your mind telling you everything is okay. It's okay. When really it's not. And we're taught that. We're taught to just say, it's okay. It's okay to be triggered. It's okay to feel. But, but yes, it's okay. But feel it. Instead of pushing it away, instead of saying, I don't want to feel this, accept it, allow it. And the more we do that, the more I've done it, I've started to feel my heart and my, my truest expression of myself start to open up. And I didn't even realize this was in me the whole time. This was in me the whole fucking time. And I was hiding it. And I was hiding it from the world. I was hiding who I am from the world. For what? For what? What good is it to hide yourself? To hide who you are? To hide the expression and authentic self that you are? It does no good to hide it. The world waits and longs for you to show who you are. I'm telling you, 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 you are not doing a disservice by sharing the world, sharing with the world who you truly are. <laughs> and it took me many years to, to finally feel like I've done it, you know, and, and I, I don't want to say it's, it's done 
because I think it's a constant process. But over time, it's felt like this this ease has taken over my body instead of the constant pressure to perform in some way, to perform in front of your friends, to perform in front of family, but to perform in front of strangers even. Like for what? For what? Who, whose opinion do I need? Who's, whose affirmation am I looking for? Because if I'm looking for it, really, really, that's showing me that I need to give it to myself. Whose approval do I do I drastically want? Am I seeking? <sighs> because really it's it's my approval that I need to give myself. And I try my best. You know, some days that's all, that's all I could do. You know, that's all we could ever do. Some days it's easier than others to feel those feelings. And other days you feel as if they're insurmountable. But I'll tell you this, if you keep going, if you keep searching, and you keep feeling those feelings. One day, it'll all come together. One day you'll look back and you'll realize you're not the same person. And that's when you know you've, you've changed. Is when you can't even recognize yourself. When you react to the same thought differently. To the same situation differently. It's the same problem, but now it's not a problem anymore. Now it's an opportunity. <laughs> and really that's that's all of life. You know, there's a great quote, I think Les Brown said it. He said, In life, you are given God ordained opportunities secretly disguised as problems and challenges. And for most of us, we think that problems are not something to look forward to, but really problems are the keys that unlock the door. Without the problems, you wouldn't you wouldn't know solutions. You wouldn't, there would be no journey in life without problems. And so the more we learn to accept ourselves, the darkest parts of us will realize that that's actually the chains that we were dragged, we were dragging for so long were actually the wings that we needed to fly. Hopefully that makes sense. (laughs) I'm trying to be poetic here. I'm trying to be vulnerable. And it's fucking hard. It's hard to share thoughts like this with words. You know, part of me, a big part of me wants to just sit and allow these feelings. I mean, everything I've talked about, I'm talking about, I've felt within this while I'm talking. And so a part of me just wants to feel it. And another part of me wants to speak it and share it (laughs) with you. So, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. I'm glad I picked up the, the camera and mic to record this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>